صلى الله عليه وسلم محمد أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين. Today we're we're going to hopefully look uh, more in depth at the concept of iman and then ihsan. The hadith, which is the second one mentioned in the book by Imam Nawawi, uh, there are the forty hadith, is a hadith that was uttered about 80 days before the Prophet ﷺ actually died. So it's considered the best overview of the Islamic tradition. And in the hadith we saw that the first question was asked was about Islam. And the five pillars were given to express what Islam was. And then the next question was about Iman. And then it followed by a question about Ihsan. And then about a question about time, uh, the end of time. If you look in terms of uh, trying to understand this thing in terms of dimensions, you can see these as four dimensions within Islam. The dimension of Islam itself would be the dimension related to the earth. In other words, Islam is an outward practice. Anybody can be a Muslim, including a hypocrite. In other words, even a person who does not believe in Islam can be a Muslim. That is possible. So that is the first dimension. And that is one-dimensional Islam. Just as you have one-dimensional Christianity, one-dimensional Judaism, or any other tradition. We're simply going through the motions. The tradition is not impacting us in any way. And this is, I mean, I like to call it religion, because I think religion fits into that category, uh, what we term as religious people. I have a friend who was a uh, crack cocaine addict, and then he, he left uh, that, and he became Muslim, and he ended up, now he works for the state of California as the, uh, he's the head, or he was appointed by the governor there to be on the uh, task force for drug rehabilitation. And he told me once that, uh, he said, a religious person is somebody afraid of going to hell. But he said, but a spiritual person, somebody been to hell and doesn't want to go back. <laughs> so uh, religion is obviously, some people have identified the human being as a religious creature. And religion, if you look at the original uh, idea there, it's religio means to bind together. Which is not really, uh, that concept does exist and I think it exists in the Islamic tradition as well. The idea, one, you could look at it at a higher level of binding a person to God. But at its more sociological level, it's binding a group of people together. We're bound together by what Ibn Khaldun called Asabiyya. Right? What holds us together is some type of homogeneity in our beliefs and our understandings and our world views. And this is what the postmodernists would call a grand narrative. You have a grand narrative that we all uh, fall under. So we share a commonality. And traditionally religion has definitely provided this aspect in cultures. And this is why people who were of minority status in a culture were people that did not tend to share that homogeneous world view. Like in the Western civilization, certainly, certainly the Jewish tradition uh, has always been marginalized by not only an ethnicity but a world view. They were different. Uh, the same can be said about the Catholics in this country for a long time. The Anglo-Saxon Protestants uh, had very strong uh, numbers, and when the Catholics began to immigrate to this country, there was a lot of problem created because there was a different worldview there. Now, if we move to the next dimension, which is Iman, and this is the dimension of if Islam is the, uh, the horizontal dimension or the dimension of uh, width, then this is the dimension related to a vertical motion. In other words, Iman relates to a person's connection with the Creator or with God in Islam. So Islam is an outward uh, practice that is keeping people together. And there, is, there are social rules that we adhere to. When you move into Iman, this is why are we doing it? It transcends simply the act of doing it, but moves into the realm of why. Why are we practicing these things? The, the reason that the Quran gives should be for God alone. 
and that would be your vertical dimension of Emen. Now,